Hey, it's Ken Conklin here, and in this video, I'm just gonna share a lot of thoughts I've had on my mind recently because most of my videos that I put out online are to provide value, and I love doing so. I'm at a point right now where I'm kind of depressed. I'm just, you know, exhausted emotionally, you know, mentally, all these different areas, and it's because I'm always working. I'm always doing something. And while there's the pro, you know, the pros of always working, always, you know, chasing after the next big thing, and always raising your, you know, the bar higher, and, you know, raising your standards. But the problem is, it comes to, okay, when does this stop, or when do you get to enjoy it? Because for me, I don't really get to enjoy a lot of the stuff, and that's all my fault. It's all my choice. I choose not to ever, you know, celebrate anything. I don't even celebrate my birthday. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I'm sure for a lot of you, you hear that and you think, wow, this guy's crazy. And, you know, there's actually a childhood experience I realized why I don't want to celebrate birthdays. But I, I simply just, I'm always, you know, I, I have, what I, my motivation is pain. And so I don't really look at something and go, wow, that's so amazing, incredible. I want to go chase towards that. I definitely can pull from that motivation and I have been, you know, intentionally trying to, make that my main motivation, but really it's just pain. And the thing is, I have things I haven't you know, let go of that happened multiple years ago, and that's why I still do certain things. And, you know, in a way, it's kind of sad because I hold on to things that, you know, fuel me and allow me to move fast and work hard and, you know, work harder than all my competitors or anyone my age, because I'm 21 right now, and, you know, living in a cool house, but it's lonely. And so you know, that's, that's part of the, the cons that come with this whole lifestyle, and, you know, playing this game. And because, you know, I have friends that come over here and there. Um, you know, I have family that I see here and there as well. But for the most part, I'm just alone doing my own thing. I'm like the lone wolf. And, you know, I don't know where you're at in life or business when you're watching this video, if, you look at what I'm doing right now as if it's you know some incredible dream of yours, or if you're also you know, on a similar path as me, and you're like, yeah, dude, I, I relate, I totally feel you. Um, just something I really wanted to talk about because you know there's a lot of good and a lot of bad that comes with everything, and there's a lot of great that comes with entrepreneurship because you get to have an impact, you get to change lives, and you get to really just do anything you want, but you also have to realize the cons that come with it, such as sanity and you know depression. Because like to be honest, like I am depressed, and I for the past couple of years, I've realized that I've I kind of always been depressed, and I've kind of numbed that feeling with anger, and I'm depressed from sadness, and a big part of it is loneliness right now. But before it was just sadness from you know experiences with certain people and just, you know, really breaking me down. And so, um, to numb that and mask it, I put anger over the pain. And so, anger and, oh, I'm gonna go work hard and, you know, be better, that was, you know, my fuel. That was the coal I was putting in to the fire pit. And it works, but there's like a, maybe it's a pool. I'm putting water into this pool but there's a little hole where there's a lot of water coming out. And so I always have to continuously fill more liquid into this pool, more water into the pool, but there's always a hole so it's never gonna get full or really be abundant. And I'm realizing the problem with that. I'm realizing how if you don't find some sort of you know, happiness or like gratitude from what you're doing, then you're just always gonna kind of be in that painful state or like sad state. And that's kind of how I am. Like, like I said, I don't celebrate birthdays. And you know, I, had a, I had a lot of big goals that I recently accomplished within the past you know, four months, I'd say, that I didn't celebrate a single one. And these have been things that I've been working towards for years. Like for example, I'm, I don't wanna move the camera, but I'm living in a cool house. And this is something that if you would've told me I would be doing it at this age, um, see, 18, three years ago, I would've been like, what? Like, no way. And I'll, I'll have a little picture so you can see the actual house. And I didn't celebrate at all. Like, 
all of a sudden I was like, oh yeah, get back to work. And that's kind of like the Gary Vee mentality. Um, I think kind of always raising your standards and I, there's a quote I live by, it's uh, sleep on a win, wake up with a loss. That's something that I um, kind of live by and maybe it's, you know, that fear of like, okay, if I relax and do something, I'll lose it all. So I'll have that fire always under my toes, but it doesn't bring me happiness. And that's something that I think is, you know, something entrepreneurs really need to realize. And for you, whether you're an entrepreneur or just someone that follows my journey and watches my stuff, you have to realize that the happiness is something that, you know, you should definitely find. Because I wish I had it. I really wish I did. And you know, happiness is in. I think really the biggest thing is uh, the affection part. I don't date ever. Um, it's been a long time. And I simply, like, I'm a workaholic. I just work, work, work. I feel like a fucking robot and it drives me nuts sometimes but you know I've progressed really fast and I was a clueless 18 year old kid working at a subway that didn't go to college and I've done a lot in the past three years but like I said everything comes with a toll right so I missed out on a lot of college experiences I still miss out on a lot of experiences that you know uh, 21 year olds experience or you know just mid 20s right um, and the crazy thing is like I don't have to be working all the time like the way my business and like what I do for a living is structured I have the luxury of time really and so I can go play and do all these things but it's just so uncomfortable for me now because I don't do those things it's like kind of against how I live and operate and so I don't know just a couple things I wanted to share. And um, I don't know if there's a message that I can give. You know, I'm gonna pull from both directions right now. Pull from the direction of, if you're not where you wanna be, get to work. Stop hanging out with friends, stop chasing girls, or if you're a girl, chasing guys. You know, focus on what you wanna do. Go become that person and like go work towards something. You know, put your head down for a little bit. But also realize that, you know, I'm seeing a trend with my life, and if I continue on this route that I'm on, then I'm never gonna have that happiness. Cause I'm always never really appreciating or like celebrating. I'm just always raising the bar higher. It's like the second I hit a new benchmark, there's no like celebration top of the mountain feeling. It's always like you get to the top and then you realize there's actually another part of the mountain to keep going up on. And it's never ending. So, I don't know, just a couple thoughts up there to share with you. Take it or leave it however you want, but that's me.